Oh, this feels so good. Wait, let's see if it's gonna go back into place. Okay. My name is Ashley Massey. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do these Bantu knots as well as taking them out so you can go from this to this. If you're new to my channel, you should definitely subscribe to see more of my content and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if anything sparks your mind while watching this video or if you want to request different hair tutorials. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, we're going to start on freshly washed hair. All I did was shampoo my hair twice and left in a conditioner for about 10 minutes. I have no leave-in right now, no product. This is what it looks like, freshly washed, still kind of damped but I'm not going to soak my hair for this hairstyle because I am using my all-time favorite mousse. If you've seen my other hair videos, this is basically probably the only thing that I use for my hair. I love using mousses to style my hair. I feel like it works best for styling. I definitely prefer a mousse over the creams and the gels. It's just my go-to. <laughs> other tools that you'll be needing for this hairstyle is a rat tail comb. I picked this up from Sally Beauty. It has this metal part. This works best for parting your hair and rubber bands. That's it. That, that's all you need for this hairstyle. Quick fun fact, when I was training my curls and I started my curly hair journey, I did do bantu knots a lot and I'll probably insert some pictures or videos <laughs> somewhere on the screen but this is when my hair was cherry red and all I did was straighten my hair. I did do this hairstyle a while back when my hair was still kind of ginger-ish and I did a cute heart on the side. My favorite thing about this hairstyle is that you can be as creative as you want to be. The parting doesn't have to be perfect. You can basically angle and style the way you want the bantu knots to be if that makes sense you're going to see why that makes sense sorry if i was rambling but i'm gonna get started first thing i like to do is section off my hair by parting and twisting everything usually i like to part off where my hair ends at my ear My hair is still dirty. finished parting away the front of my hair I am going to be working in big sections so I'm going to now start on the back and I'm planning on having two bantu knots and I'm gonna figure out the rest of the pattern as I go I think I want some type of triangle structure so I'm just going to play with it as I go This is a whole workout. I kid you not. We should make doing natural hair an Olympic sport. Because my arms are on fire right now. So I have my two parts and I'm just going to twist them away. The twist doesn't have to be perfect. It's just so you know that's where you're doing your band tune on.
now that I'm finished parting and sectioning off my hair, doing this just speeds up the process of finishing this hairstyle. I feel like the parting is just the hardest part. Ugh, my arms and neck hurt, but this is what the parting looks like. Not too much on the back, not too much, because I can't see. <laughs> But this is what the parting looks like in the back. Yeah. Now I'm going to tie up my hair to work on one section. I'm going to take out this one twist, take out a few rubber bands, and put oil on them. Put them in my palm, as you can see. And I am using Pattern Beauty Jojoba Oil Serum. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to squirt some in my hands. So it should look like this. And I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm going to take one to two pumps of the foam. Put it on my hair. And I'm going to detangle it with my tangle teaser, making sure the product gets through the hair. And also my hair is pretty dry. And now here is the band two part. So you're going to start at the scalp. You see how my scalp is literally pulling away from my head? Yeah, that's where you're gonna start. You're just going to start twisting there and you're just gonna keep on twisting. Keep on twisting. Keep on twisting, keep on twisting. Right until you get almost at the end. Because now you're about to twist it upon itself. And by that, I mean, it's going to automatically twist upon itself. And you're going to want to twist the rest, of course. You're just twisting and wrapping it around until it has some dimension, like so. And you're going to want to hold it. Don't let go of that, okay? Take your rubber band that you oiled. Don't put these things in your mouth. <laughs> All right, try not to put them in your mouth. And you're gonna take your rubber band and wrap it around it so you see how i wrapped it around once i'm gonna go for two times that is it that's it it's in there it's tight you don't have to adjust it you can also use pins as well but if you're just planning on wearing the bantu knots itself rubber bands are more seamless so you won't see anything sticking out of it it's actually very tight. Wow. I'm going to do the other one.
to knot. I also wanted to say don't knock yourself down if you don't get the knot right away. There's a few knots that I had to redo more than twice because it doesn't come out the way you want it on the first try. I forgot how much this hairstyle hurts. If you have a sensitive scalp, I would highly recommend putting the rubber band at the root before twisting so you're not putting that much tension on your scalp because this one hurts. These are my bangs, so it's probably going to be the hardest one to twist. And it's really thick. I definitely want to redo this one and this one. For the most part, we are finished with this hairstyle. Not only can you rock the bantu knots like this, but tomorrow I'm going to show you what it looks like when I take the bantu knots out. I always say this in any of my styling videos, but you want to make sure that your hair is fully dried before you take out any styling when it comes to twist outs perm rods, flexi rods, just basically anything that you're using to set your hair so you can get the maximum effect of the hairstyle. I'm going to go ahead and blow dry this with my blow dryer, let it set overnight, and I will be back when it's time to take these out. It is finally the next day. I did my edges a little bit as you can see. Now this is a hairstyle by itself. Okay, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the best thing about this hairstyle is that you can get a two for one deal. Now I'm going to show you how I take out these bantu knots. I like to cut my rubber bands. I know it sounds a little, but I promise you I'm not cutting my hair. I only let the blade touch the rubber band once I have a grasp of it. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So I found the rubber band, as you can see, I'm pulling it away from my hair and I'm just letting the blade touch the rubber band. That's it. And the rubber band is out. I'm going to be using the same pattern beauty hair oil and just squirting a little bit in my hands. Rub it together and I'm going to carefully unravel the bantu knot. Carefully. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was so cute. Now for the unraveling part. This is where I untwist it the opposite way that it was twisted in. And I'm just going to pull apart where it naturally separates. Gorgeous. Just simply gorgeous. I'm gonna leave that one as is and continue with the takedown process away from my hair.
finished playing around with the hair a bit. It's giving kind of Marilyn Monroe, almost kinda. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. My roots are still kind of wet. It didn't set properly. But now I know for the next time and don't do the same mistake that I did. I love the way this hairstyle came out and my hair is so soft. It is kind of a bit frizzy because I did do bigger sections. The smaller the sections, the more defined the curls will come out. So the bigger the sections, the looser the curls will come out, if that makes sense. But I do have cute curls hanging out that I absolutely love. Ow. Just to show you the side and the back. Yeah. The way I did the middle part, it's just naturally falling on the side of my face. But it's okay because it's cute. I like it here. So I'll just let it be. <laughs> that was the end of this natural hairstyle tutorial. Again, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you're new to my channel. I strongly believe that we can hit 5,000 subscribers before my birthday. My birthday is December 6th. I've been pretty consistent on the tube so far and I plan to stay that way. But I'm just so thankful for the community that is growing on here and for those that are supporting and watching my videos because ah, I mean so much time is put into creating and editing these videos. So the fact that it's being seen by anyone, it's it's a huge deal for me. <laughs> I just want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hold on, hold on. Three in one. Because I just put my hair up, like I just put a regular scrunchie and this bun looks so cute. That's all I gotta say, period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs>